Hey everyone, so I am here today with my Project Life Week 14, and um, this was the week of April Fool's Day, and my husband printed out this fake parking citation and put it on my car, and I was stressing out, and then I realized it was an April Fool's joke, so I definitely wanted to keep that um, for my Project Life that week. And it was kind of a weird size, so I ended up having to cut it down a lot, and so I, I think in the end, I wish I would have... Um, had a pocket to put it in so I think I'm gonna get some pockets that I can use in the future because cutting it down it cut a lot out of it and a lot off of it and it just doesn't look as good as it would have if I had um, put it in some kind of pocket so even though I'm not I don't usually hesitate to cut things up whenever it came to this one I wish looking back that I had um, done something different with it so this week um, I used the strawberry kit quite a bit, and um, I think I had just traded for it that week. Honestly, it's been a while back since I made this video. I'm really far behind. Um, you know, like I've told you guys, I moved, and it was like a very untraditional move because we had a lot of our stuff in storage. Um, so we're just pulling out tons and tons of boxes, and it's definitely been a very long week or a few weeks so that's why I've been so behind on everything um, but I'm getting caught back up and I've got pictures printing out right now and I'm very excited to get back in the swing of things and get caught back up so that top picture is also a April Fool's Day photo and um, there wasn't anything that I wanted to do with the photo I didn't embellish it in any way um, I just wrote a little bit of journaling on that card there that says true story about um, April Fools and what my mom did to my dad that day. She turned all the stuff in his corner upside down. She turned like the TV upside down and his helmet and his piggy bank and just everything on his dresser. She turned it upside down. So it was really funny, um, kind of unconventional April Fools' Day thing. So mostly I'm working with the March kit from Studio Calico. Um, and like I said, the strawberry, and of course I probably have some other stuff thrown in too, because I'm not very picky. One thing that I've definitely been struggling with a lot lately is, um, title cards, and I generally leave those to the end. So, um, I'm trying to get better about that and just make my title cards and come up with something a little bit different. So here I have one of the Design H pages from Becky Higgins and I use this as an insert because we went out of town for a day and I just happened to take a bunch of pictures even though it wasn't a particularly you know exciting event we just went out to eat in a different town so it was like a nice drive and everything but I decided I had so many photos that week that I would do an insert and half of it would be about our trip out of town or not even a trip it was just a you know an evening out of town and um, then I thought the other half could be just the extra photos that I had. So I'm also trying to get better about embellishing on photos, putting little stickers or tags, um, just any little extra embellishments because I feel like some of my photos are coming out kind of plain. So these are just some of my goals that I'm working on. So I also have made um, <coughs> two um, Easter things. I made like a little flower pot wreath. Um, for one of the residents at my grandma's nursing home and then I made her, my grandma, a um, rabbit wreath and it came out really super cute and I did a tutorial on the blog. Um, so if you're interested in how I made that little rabbit out of um, a wreath and some flowers and stuff, it's on the blog. So if you go there, um, I give you a step by step and I include a bunch of photos so you can get the blow by blow on that one. So I just adhered it to a 4 by 6 card from the strawberry kit, did a little bit of journaling, and slipped it right in there. So there I have the insert, half, the front half of that insert. And um, I don't know why. I, I mean, I normally print all my photos 3 by 4 or 4 by 6 or specifically Instagram size. But when I'm mounting them on a 4 by 6 page, I have to cut them down quite a bit. So that's the only downside. It, um, of just trying to print them standard sizes is um, you end up cutting down a lot. So here's my just random collection of cards. Some of these are old Studio Calico cards. Some of them are 
um, cut apart sheets or you know other bits and bobs of kits or whatever um, so I was just I just pulled out a bunch because I knew I had a lot of four by six spots that needed filling and um, I just had to pull for my stash so and there like I said I just cut that one down and I'm gonna put a little bit of washi tape on there and that came in the kit last month and that little play thing or play tag it was in my box of like cut apart sheets so I just stuck that on there and it happened to work perfect and I'm gonna do a little bit of journaling on there and call it good and that was also a cut apart sheet I or I should call them printables all the studio calico printables or two peas in a bucket printables I tried to print them all out at once and cut them apart and then they're ready to go and I recently found a way um, that I like to store them and I did a video on that so um, it's you know just a way of organizing some of those printables and cut apart sheets and all those little embellishments that you might have because it's really hard to use those if you don't have them cut out it seems like you never want to take the time to actually cut them out at the time when you're going to use them so I find if they're pre-cut that it's much more just like an embellishment sheet of stickers that you have that you can just grab it stick it and go so this I actually do quite a bit of journaling on and I went with the white gel pen because I just thought it would look brighter on that red and it matches the border on that red card that was printed on there and I'm sorry for my head being in the way there um, the pen that I use is the white uniball signo pen and I like it quite a bit um, you definitely have to be slower when you're writing with it because it does kind of I the gel doesn't run perfectly smooth it's the best white pen that I've found so far that I really like but um, it just it doesn't write as smoothly as like a regular pen would but you can always go back over it and it'll smooth out so my only suggestion would be to make sure it's running as smoothly as possible do it on a test piece of paper when you first start out and then to write slowly and even maybe pre-plan what you want to say um, and write it out with pencil maybe and go over it with the white or just write it down separately and just have something you can go off of very specifically because um, the slower you go, the easier it is. So here I'm just stamping one of the little heart symbols on that picture of our cat and then I staple that printable onto the photo and just slide it in the pocket and that's good. And I find that I use labels a lot lately. Um, I find them to be very useful to just write like a caption instead of like a full journaling um, thing you can write just like a caption or just even a word or even just put a smiley face or something and it conveys quite a bit I feel like um, just by putting a little tag on the photo and then it embellishes the photo as well so that's one thing that I've been trying to do a little bit more of lately there I just put one of those cork letter stickers on that picture and I just put a C for my parents dog's name Charlie and um, that was pretty easy so this vellum sheet it came in the clover kit I guess in April I guess I've been working with the April kit and I keep calling it March I'm sorry guys um, but anyway this vellum piece came with the kit and I loved it so much that I bought two more of them separately and I think from a cherry on top but one thing that I noticed was that cloud paper it, I thought it was four, two four by six pieces and it wasn't the pink part is not four by six which I think is so weird um, I don't know why they have it kind of as a cut apart sheet but not have it in a standard size I thought that was really really strange but anyway um, luckily I was able to cut down the part that I wanted into a four by six piece and it worked well on the background there and I love the vellum and I love the clouds and I think it came out really cool and so here I just put 14 and I put it on a tag from the mixed media studio calico class and slid it in there and I really like the way that came out it was just simple I didn't 
feel like I needed to stamp the dates or anything and I didn't put week 14 because I didn't have enough stickers from that cork alphabet set um, but I'm pretty pretty cool with just keeping it plain and simple so there I am cutting apart another picture it's just like I said it's so hard whenever you just go with the flow you know you just gotta cut pictures down and do whatever you want to them to make them fit and work for you because I find if I let myself get stuck on this photo is not the right size or should I reprint it I never get to it I just I just procrastinate and it's a reason to procrastinate because you go into your scrap space and you're like oh I was supposed to do that I was supposed to print a picture out and I don't really want to right now and that's on my desk so I just won't move it and I won't print out the picture and I'll just wait and then you're not scrap looking and then you're not getting what you need to do done so just cut apart the picture put an embellishment on there put away a layout even if it's not 100 percent perfect if you've got a block over it put it aside for a little bit I guess that's um, kinda one thing that I'm saying is just if you let something sit on your desk and you're not dealing with it it's just a block a roadblock for all scrapbooking not just that particular layout so this is an old I think Studio Calico kit card and I never really knew how to work with it because I didn't really like the colors of the card and I didn't really like that it was divided up into seven things but this week I had a lot of little tiny stories to tell so it actually worked out kinda well I just um, told seven tiny little stories about my week and um, I really liked the way that turned out so I think I would definitely do that again for a week where I don't have like a story that will fill a 3x4 card or a 4x6 card if I've just got a tiny little story I'll do something like this and split up a journaling card and that way it only takes up one 4x6 spot too which I'm always needing to fill 4x6 spots so this is the perfect way to do some small journaling instead of one big journaling block and that travel time card up to the left that was also a card that I've had from a past Studio Calico kit and I never thought I would use it. It's not even that old. It's just I never thought I would use it because I didn't really like it and I don't commute or anything. But it ended up working well there. So anyway, that is my project life for week 14. Thank you guys for being so patient and I promise to have more videos soon. Thanks for watching and have a great day guys.